Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In this video, we're giving you a tour of our favorite zoo, the John Ball Zoo. We come here every year. It's about 20 minutes from our house, so we love going whenever we get a chance. In the last couple of years, they've redone the entrance, and it is so cute and a lot more efficient. You can even buy your tickets online to save time. In this video, I'm going to walk you through the zoo as well as share some updates with you. The new exhibit this year is Washed Ashore. It's a traveling exhibit with lots of intricate, beautiful designed giant sea life sculptures made entirely of marine debris collected from the beaches of Oregon. This was honestly amazing to see. There are They created these sculptures from beach toys to lighters to igloo coolers. It's really amazing and definitely recommend going just to see that. The exhibit features 16 large and colorful sculptures throughout the zoo, so you'll be spotting them each place you go throughout the zoo and it's really fun to see them. The Washed Ashore exhibit will be available to guests from April 1st until the end of this 2022 season. Also new and exciting this year are the two male koalas visiting from San Diego Zoo Wildlife Alliance's Koala Conservation and Education Loan Program. Zara was super excited to see them. She loves Izzy's Koala World, the show on TV, and she wore her koala shirt just for them. Towards the end of the video, you'll be able to see the pygmy hippo habitat that the zoo is currently working on. It's going in the front of the zoo, so you'll be able to see them as soon as you get inside. Pygmy hippos are one of the most exotic and endangered animals. With fewer than 3,000 of these animals left in the wild, John Bell Zoo will be part of a group of accredited zoos cooperating in a species survival breeding plan to preserve them. I thought that was really cool, and there is also a link to learn more and to donate in the blog post in the description of this. Next, I'm going to share a few reasons why we love going to the John Ball Zoo every year. First up is location. It's really close to us and Grand Rapids is a great place to visit anyway. The zoo is right off the highway though so if you're traveling from a further distance it's really convenient. Next up is the cost. The price for the day is only $12 to $19 depending on which age group and which day and time of the year you're coming. They also have great membership options especially for families if you're local. We recently discovered the funicular this year and I'm not even sure if I'm pronouncing that right but it's basically a little ride up to the top of the zoo. This way, your zoo trip is all downhill. Otherwise, it's almost all uphill for the most part. We rode it up this year and it was life-changing, especially if you have strollers or wagons and extra kids to tow around with you. It's so much easier. So that's our little pro tip. The next reason we love it is there are lots of resting areas, benches, and shady areas. We like to take breaks and get lots of shade while we're out at the zoo, especially if it's a hot summer day. The next reason we love is there are tons of different animals, everything from tigers to bears to frogs, and then the koalas this year. We had such a great time seeing all of the different animals. We also love all of the food and snack and drink options. There are lots of places to grab a snack. They even have a beer area where you can grab beer up by the top where the tigers are. The aquarium is also awesome. They have penguins and lots of fish and other water creatures in there. The girls love the face painting tent. You can have your face or your hand painted. The, girl the hobby farm petting zoo is also a great hit with the girls. They love going in there to pet and brush the goats. This year they have a new mini highland cow named Pumpkin and he's adorable. Some other things that we love are the camel rides where you can go on a bumpy camel ride, a picnic area where you can set up your lunch, the gift shop is always a hit. The girls always manage to find one or two little souvenirs from the gift shop. The gemstones are also great. You can get a bag and pan for gems, which the girls think is super exciting. They also have a sky trail ropes course, um, an aviary where you can feed all of the beautiful birds they have a zipline course which we have not tried yet and they also have some things like summer camp preschool animal adventures scout programs birthday parties and guided tours there's something for everyone to do and love and they always have new things going on so make sure you go to jbzoo.org to learn more about our favorite zoo